The U.S. Supreme Court is poised to weigh in on the matter this year. Opponents of the practice call it legal theft. And at least one state senator has pitched a bill to stop the practice altogether. Our Brian Mastery is live now with the details. Hey, Brian. Jacqueline, we have a map from the Pacific Legal Foundation. Some attorneys who are taking the case to the Supreme Court call it home equity theft. Now, the states in red, and there are 12 of them, allow the practice. Iowa does not. Private investors pay outstanding tax liens and eventually can keep all the profits if they sell the property. Now, this is the time of year when the latest round of unpaid tax bills are posted on Treasurer websites. This one for Douglas County went online just a couple of days ago. And as you can tell right here, 3,614 records. That's how many properties in Douglas County have unpaid property taxes. This small, one-story home near an elementary school in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, now belongs to private investors in Omaha, Continental Resources. How long have you had the house? Uh, let's see, uh, somewhere about 94, 95. Kevin Fair says it was paid for, now valued at $60,000. But when his wife got sick a few years ago, bills piled up. He owed back taxes, $588. Are you still in the house now? Yes, I'm still sitting here right now. Kevin Fair is still in the home, even though he doesn't own it anymore. That's because he's fighting the case in court. In Nebraska, if someone falls behind on property taxes, no matter how small, the county treasurer every March offers up the outstanding tax liens to private bidders. Those private bidders pay the taxes and then the county is made whole and wipes its hands of the case. The investor then waits it out for three years, sends a letter to the homeowner that in this case, because of interest, the $588 owed in taxes ballooned to $5,268. If Kevin Fair paid that, he could keep his house. He didn't pay, so it belongs to the investors who will turn around and sell the place and keep the profits. They're going to stand to make the money, and I won't have nothing after living there for 20, 25 years, and I won't get nothing out of it. Absolutely nothing. Nebraska is one of 12 states that allow this. Attorneys for Kevin Fair have a similar case that will be heard by the U.S. Supreme Court this spring. And the interest rates in some of these states are already pretty high. Uh, in Nebraska, it's 14 percent, and Massachusetts at 16 percent. Uh, and so you already have that carrot there to attract private investors to come clear the tax liens. But then whenever you also add the windfall on top of that, I think at that point it becomes truly predatory. And uh, I mean, it's just a legal theft at the end of the day. They're hoping to end the practice, one the Nebraska Supreme Court has said is constitutional. In Kevin Fair's case, the justices wrote that by offering him to keep the property after three years, the law is about collecting taxes rather than punishing delinquent taxpayers. Well, I think it's kind of an immoral type of thing to do. For Kevin Fair, he's worried if the courts don't see it his way. I'll be living on the streets. Of course, a lot of that depends on how the U.S. Supreme Court rules in a few months. Public hearing on Omaha Senator John Kavanaugh's bill, LB 577, that would ban this practice. It has not yet been scheduled.